We're here with Helen Andreos today, and I want to introduce you to the newest member of our wellness team. Helen, uh, tell me a little bit about your story. Towards the end of my career, okay, I um, became a uh, trainer and a developer of a program for long home cosmetics. I developed um, the brow program, and we took that program throughout the whole United States, training um, estheticians throughout the country. And we also took it to special events working on celebrities like the MTV Awards, the Oscars, the Emmys. We had the opportunity to work with several celebrities. A portion of my career was working and developing the Brow program, which is my most um, recent specialty and what I did at the, towards the end of my career. Now I've worked to certify myself and get higher developed in the skincare of medical esthetician work. So I'm working on skincare, brow artistry, and makeup artistry, doing weddings, special events, all kinds of um, things, and also working to get the health of the skin back to where it should be. Why did you leave the road, though? You had this great lifestyle, you're traveling all over the place, you're going to New York, you're meeting with celebrities. Why stop all the traveling and, and, and open up your own business? I think it was time to just um, be on my own and and have my expertise in one location and develop a good clientele and people that we can work with and, and really make a difference for each individual. I think it's important to make a difference. And if you can't be with someone and, and work and develop a relationship, you don't really make the change. There's too many places, too many places to go. So. Why would someone come see you as opposed to someone else that does what you do? Well, I've spent many, 30 years um, developing what I know and um, developing my knowledge. I've also taken many courses to expand my knowledge with the medical portion of the industry and look, working on a more holistic approach to skincare. Well, let's talk about that. You mentioned holistic. Uh, I think oftentimes in the skincare industry, uh, people can get confused. They can they can think that there's um, chemicals involved, there's uh, toxins involved, and and how do I know what product to buy? Uh, what, what do you what are your comments when it comes to holistic? Uh... Well, holistic is a product that um, you know a lot of lines can say they're holistic, but it's it's looking at the ingredients and what they do for the skin. Being holistic does not necessarily mean that the ingredients are good for your skin. So you have to look at the mix, the match, no talcs, no sodium lauryl sulfates, um, really working on the products that are going to give us benefit, be aggressive, get results, but also that are um, good for the skin. Okay, so someone thinks they can find this stuff online. They can go find their holistic skincare products online. Uh, they try them on themselves, and they've got a mess on their hands. Uh, they come to you. What do you? What do you how do you take? I them develop them? a program for each individual, and it, everybody's skin acts different. You can put the same product on many different people, and it's going to act different. By coming to me, I will tell you exactly what to do. I will develop a program that works for you. We may have to adjust it a few times, but it will be a program that is going to work and get you results. So it sounds like what you're doing is you're customizing it. Customizing a program for each individual. Yes. Which is what I think people are going to want. People are going to want to have something that they feel is made just for them. Right. And we use an aggressive program that's going to get results, but that is is soft enough and good enough for the skin that we're not going to scar the skin, create um, any future problems, clogging of pores, things like that. Okay. Let's talk about downtime. Um, I'm coming to see you and I'm in front of the public all day and I want to get my skin worked on. Am I going to have to stay out of the public for a while? What, what's my downtime like? Well, on a fa uh, the, the most aggressive facial peel that I use, um, you need a good week, week and a half. You can be out in the public, but you wouldn't want to do a film. You wouldn't want to get photographs. You wouldn't want to go on an interview. You wouldn't want to go to a special meeting, special wedding. It is going to have some reaction to the skin, some peeling. Now, when we talk about a peel, some people peel, some people don't. It doesn't mean you're not getting benefits. But you want to have a little time to work with your skin. About a week, week and a half is good. What about um, different skin types? Are there certain skin types that can't get this kind of stuff done? 
Yeah, there are certain skin types that are on special medications. I do not work with people who are on Accutane or heavy medications. With the medical certification, I can pretty much tell you which products we can't use with your skin. I can treat it, but when you're under a doctor's care, I think it's very important, especially Accutane and these very aggressive products, to stick with your um, doctor. And I think we're you and Christy are, are a good partner. Nutritional oh, okay. aspect, because yeah. when people come in with skin problems, a lot of times it's their liver mm-hmm. that manifests right. the skin. The skin's the biggest organ, yeah. and things right. manifest through your skin. So oftentimes patients are going to present to you right. with skin problems, which actually are body problems. Mm-hmm. And right. here at Southwest well, Health, we yeah. can deal yeah. with that. Well, you now. said that really well. <laughs> yeah. Did you get that? <laughs> well, that, and that's, that's the important thing about, uh, about our office is you know, we have we have a, a large group of, of wellness experts and professionals here. <clears throat> you're the newest member of the wellness team. You're an expert in your field. And what's nice for the patient is they can come in with what they think is a skin problem, what they think is a, a back problem or a neck problem. And, and in, in reality, it might turn into a problem that's better served by another provider. And, and nutrition and skin oftentimes get very convoluted. They get very confusing. Uh, most people, like you said earlier, they want to use Accutane. They go to the doctor. They've got something on their face. They're going to an event. They've got to get it off there today. Uh, when they don't want to look at the big picture and step back and realize that, you know, maybe it's the all the sugar you're eating. Maybe it's the bad diet. Couldn't be it. The Snickers bars couldn't be the problem. Uh, that comes out through your skin. And so I think by you being here, you're going to be an excellent partner with, with our nutritionist in that you're results that you've gotten in the past will be even better because now you're going to take Absolutely. someone, get their liver cleansed and take it to a whole other level. So when you're dealing with holistic nutrition and holistic skin care, you really can't separate the two. No. They go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Helen specializes in organic facials, brow shaping, waxing, tweezing, facial waxing, medical facial peels, skin care analysis, laser teeth whitening, and makeup artistry techniques. Be sure to call for your appointment today at 949-631-5226, extension 10. 